Hello everyone, this is Babamots. Welcome to another Homeworlds game commentary. In this video I'm going to be doing a third game between Will and the Roundabout uh, because I enjoyed the first two games so much and this makes it a an improvised best of three. These players did not know that they were playing in a best of three. I have simply declared that it is so. Um, spoilers coming up if you want to run back and watch the first two games. Okay, the first two games uh, Will won the first one, Roundabout won the second one, and so this is, uh, the tiebreaker. Whoever wins this wins the best three, so, and these are great players, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. All right, uh, Will is up first. I think Will has gone th first in all three games. Um, interesting how that happened. I, I picked these kind of randomly. I don't think Board Game Arena decided to try to alternate who goes first or anything. Okay, Will takes a yellow banker, and roundabout takes a medium yellow Gemini. Will actually <laughs> built the, the G1 and then uh, restarted and, and did it again. That's unusual to uh, have to take back your your second move. Well, I mean, Will didn't have to. It was probably a misclick. But, alright, both trading for blue. Um... Going for blue first makes a lot of sense because the only small star in the game is a blue. That'll move the uh, blue economy along a little extra quickly. See, Will already gets a, a medium ship because they traded for blue, and Roundabout gets one as well. Roundabout was wise to match the colors so that they uh, stay even on material. So the most expected things here are that Will will either spread out the blues or... Uh, trade one of them to block Roundabout from getting a... Well, I mean, I guess round, Roundabout also needs to do the same thing. They're both in the same predicament. They don't have room to build more blues. Okay, Will spreading out. Roundabout. Oh, the, it's. I, I think it's always more interesting when the players choose different, uh, different approaches. Uh, Will doesn't have any yellow, so Roundabout doesn't absolutely have to... Uh, spread out their blues they could just trade i think it would in a lot of ways i think it's more interesting if will spreads out and will and roundabout trades but i think roundabouts probably might be better off spreading out as well so that they both get the larges roundabouts feeling a little indecisive oh spicy thinking about invading oh invading the colony okay <laughs> so um I'm not sure I li well, no, I, th I think this would work out fairly well for Roundabout. So if Will... Mm. So if Will builds a large at home, Roundabout can just build a large at their home. If Will builds the large here in Altair, then Roundabout can also build a large, overpopulating them. Roundabout ends up with a medium blue. Will only has a small Roundabout probably comes out slightly ahead compared to the very beginning of the game. Um, but then if Will does something a little more neutral, like, well, let's see, or less neutral, I guess. Trade trade the B2 for an R2. Roundabout could build a B2 here in Altair, but Will could capture it. Um... But I guess at that point, but Will could, Roundabout could instead build the B2 at home. Uh, and Will, no, then Will builds a large here. No, okay, I, so I think I'd, I'm, if I were Will, <coughs> long and short, I think I might trade that B2 for an R2. Okay, Will takes the, the B3 at home, Roundabout... Uh, sacrificing for the double build? I'm not sure that gets them anything extra. In fact, I don't think it does. Uh, yeah, I think this is less good. Uh, Roundabout could lose their uh, their spare large ship if Will just moves the little blue into Altair. So I don't like this. I think Roundabout should take it back. Building into the colony? Uh, I think that's not so good either. Uh, Will can move the little blue into the colony if to overpopulate and uh, Will is up by a large ship. Roundabout, I think, needs to stick with the original plan. Just build it at home. Yep, that's the way to go. 
will thinking about building the large in the colony roundabout i would expect to just move in the uh the b2 for the overpopulation yeah no trading for a yellow really uh i don't know about that it that would threaten will's home star but will can trade out of it and Will would still come away with an, an additional large ship, I think. I, I don't like this. Yeah, I think, I think that's the best move. Just overpopulate. Roundabout's thinking about a few other things. And sticks with what I think is probably their best move. So Roundabout did come out behind by a, a small ship and by a tempo, because it's Will's turn still. Um, but... Uh, Not too bad. Recoverable. Okay, Will trading for a little red. Roundabout's not ready to get red yet. This is okay. Will can't reach Roundabout's home just yet. Will uh, charging ahead with the reds. Roundabout's probably going to trade. Yeah, there we go. Pretty even again. Will now getting the first yellow. Roundabout uh, still needing to do some building before they get another color. Okay, so this this is interesting. Uh, this might let Roundabout catch up in tempo. Roundabout is spreading out their ships uh, so that future building that they do could be done in the colony instead of back at home. Um, Roundabout could get do their building a little closer to the action. That could save them time in the long run. Okay, will though... Building another yellow. Just about has the small yellows cleaned out. Roundabout trade builds a green, which they can trade to a yellow. I'm a little surprised that Roundabout didn't build the B1 here. And then trade it for a yellow. But this is probably alright. Uh, not too scary, I don't think. Roundabout could even capture that little yellow, I suppose. But they'd want to get another red in quick order. Roundabout, ooh, trading away their only blue? I don't like that too much. Hmm, spreading out the green. I... I'm a little surprised Roundabout isn't just trading that little green for yellow since the small yellows are about to be gone and, and Roundabout will have to get in on the yellows at a larger level and, and there's only one medium yellow in the bank so the larges are going to come up pretty quick. Roundabout does have the B3 that could always be traded for a large yellow if needed. Okay, spreading out the greens. Uh, yeah, not my first pick. Will building the last little yellow... Roundabout builds a little blue. Yeah, okay, so that that would mean that they would still have a blue, namely the small one, if they decided to trade their uh, large blue for a yellow. Uh, so I guess that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty worried about Will just running away with all the yellows, though. Yeah, so at this point, if, if Will commits to this, Roundabout doesn't get any yellow unless they capture one of these ones. Will, that's kind of a, an odd thing to do, to put those yellows right under Roundabout's nose where Roundabout could capture one if they felt like it. Um, but it would be sacrificing Roundabout's only red, which I presume is why they've not actually taken one of those yellows. Um, yeah, but at this point, if Roundabout takes one of them, Will can build a... Well, no, Will wouldn't want to... By having three yellows at home, Will has made it so that if Roundabout captures even one of these yellows, uh, Will's in danger of losing a home star. They can't switch, they, they can't continue immediately building larges in Beetlejuice or anything. 
uh, I, I don't, that, that's a, that's a weird colony invasion. I, I, maybe Will knows what is expected to happen better than I do, but I, I just didn't like it, and, and they're continuing to build there, and I think that's weird. Let's see if Roundabout takes it. No, looking at trading for an R3. Um, yeah, that way they wouldn't even have to sacrifice to capture one. I like that pretty well. Yeah, it's good for Roundabout. Let's see if Will decides to run away now. Sacrificing the Y2 to spread out the yellows. Um, yeah, I guess that's all right. It's it's kind of a... Uh, it's peculiar how I, I tend to think of material more in a more static way like chess, where I think, oh no, don't sacrifice a Y2. You're, you're losing material that way. Um, but Will, I, I think especially, has a tendency to do these sacrifices, medium sacrifices in particular, um, to try to get some tempo and uh, expecting to build the piece back soon. And in this case, Will has done a pretty good job of shutting out the, uh, shutting Roundabout out from getting any yellows. And is now gobbling up the the blue stars roundabout has has the blue advantage for the moment um but will is is making it so that roundabout won't be able to get much blue material out of their uh their advantage will and will has a larger blue ship but it's in a system where it can only build one time before it runs out of space roundabout has more space for building blues that's what i mean by a blue advantage here Right about just looking at building a little green. Um, it doesn't solve the problem of being about to get shut out of yellows. Uh, if Will does a shopping spree here, there'll only be one yellow ship left. And uh, I don't think Roundabout's going to be happy. Just building more green? Oh boy, I... I don't know. I don't know what roundabout's supposed to do here. Uh, I, I feel like, well, maybe that maybe that is about the best they can do. Uh, no, no. I, right now that now that the yellow will has cleared their yellows out of Betelgeuse, I feel like roundabout should build should should trade this R3 for a Y3 so that Roundabout doesn't get totally shut out of yellows. They'll be down in material once uh, Will does a shopping spree, but any yellow is better than no yellow. Let's see. Sacrificing the G3, yeah, for a <clears throat> big old yellow shopping spree. Now that uh, Will has done the shopping spree, I, I suppose... Roundabout could still trade their uh, R3 for Y3 and have some yellow available. I I feel like Roundabout's going to have a hard time getting back into this unless they do, in fact. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good choice from Roundabout. Um, in fact, that puts uh, Will's home star in some danger. They'll want to spread out the, the yellows. And, in fact... Will's Will's other home stars is not far from being in danger. If Roundabout builds one more blue in Betelgeuse, um, they'd be able to sacrifice the Y3, move in the blues, knock out Will's mothership and the blue star. Roundabout might have an easier time... Oh, I, I was going to say Roundabout might have an easier time getting back into the blue economy than Will would, but Will's got so many blue stars that uh, they probably wouldn't actually have that much trouble trading into blue again. Uh, let's see what Will does. Oh, sacrifice the Y3. Oh, giving up, giving up most of their hold on the yellow economy. Um, 
I don't like that real well. It, it's uh, certainly a big material advantage to Will, having the two large ships compared to one at the end. But uh, putting all that yellow back in the bank, I think, is probably mostly to roundabout's advantage. Okay, Will commits to it, though. Sorry, I keep a answering texts. My, uh, my wife is shopping, and uh, that's why I have time to make a video here. <clears throat> All right. Roundabout builds a, a green one. Okay, you know, Roundabout's not far from uh, getting a stranglehold on the green economy. Uh, this is pretty good. Let's see if Will can abuse their material... Roundabout, going to build that green at, at home instead. It is safer there. Let's see if Will thinks it's time to invade the caster colony. No, just inva discovering a G3 star. Invading Betelgeuse instead. Interesting. Okay. Roundabout could try to build their way out of this. Uh, Will's only got the one red ship. Roundabout, looking at building the G2. The G2, I think, is pretty good. Just building another blue. Yeah, if Will if Will sacrifices to take one of them, then... Roundabout can sacrifice to take it back. Will doesn't have all that many ships. They've, they've got the big ship that they can try to abuse, but uh, Roundabout's greater number of small ships uh, might actually be more valuable at this point. They've got them in... Roundabout's got them in more places. Lots of little ships in combinations of green and blue. Roundabout is, is well set up to build and diversify. Um, I, I usually put a lot of weight on who's got an additional big ship, but uh, Will, I don't think, is going to be able to capitalize on it very well. Yeah, uh, Will just just leaves. <laughs> Not going to get much done there. Um, yeah, I guess they could have left it there, but I, I guess if Will wants to build more yellows, then you don't want to do it in a place where Roundabout's going to be able to capture the new, new ships. Yeah, Roundabout builds the V2 would be pretty good. Oh, is it... Okay, yeah, factory build is just in reach. Um, they sacrificed the G3. They've got space to build three greens back. Nice. Good good on roundabout for that. Um, and so Will is going to have a hard time getting into the greens. Uh, Will, I think, should consider trading their B3 for G3. Because uh, otherwise, that's they're never going to get a green ship, and roundabout is going to be quite a pain. Will will have to do all of their building in the formal hut colony. Will trades, but that that gets really spooky real fast if roundabout gets gets some yellow. Roundabout does a, another factory G three build and take a red and a blue. Okay. Will can build a, a medium red after that. Roundabout might want to get two reds instead. Nope, red and a blue. Okay. Will takes a little yellow. Roundabout has a has really good threats if, as soon as they start getting some yellow. Yeah, Roundabout gets a medium yellow. That's not quite enough to move three greens into into Will's home, but uh, it's getting pretty scary. And with Roundabout being the one with the the factory, um, it's a pretty good position. Oh, so one thing to pay attention to, though, is Will does have one green ship and could knock out Roundabout's three greens at home if uh, Roundabout doesn't spread them out. 
but doing so at the moment at least would require Will to lose both of their large ships, and Will doesn't have any mediums anywhere. Roundabout would lose their only large ship as well, their mothership. But Roundabout would be left with mediums, and Will would not. So it's not a good idea at the moment, but it could become a good idea if things uh, shape up Will's way. Yeah, Will's got a medium now, so it would be a lot safer for them to knock out Will, uh, Roundabout's mothership if they wanted. Roundabout with another factory. Building one yellow and one blue. That leaves the yellows open, the largest open for round for Will to build. But they'd need to sacrifice their G3 to build them anywhere other than the formal hut colony where they could just be overpopulated. So I think that's safe for roundabout. Looking for a different factory. Uh, building now same yellow and blue again. Yeah. I think that should be all right. Will now... Will's got some more red power that they'd actually be willing to sacrifice some of it so they can uh, invade this colony, actually start putting their flagship to some use. Let's see if... Uh, what does Roundabout want to do? That's good from Will, too, because it spreads out their yellows, gives them space to build the large yellow. So I like that move from Will. Uh, roundabout. What can they do? I almost want to say they should start throwing the greens at Will's home to overpopulate the mothership. Uh, building the Y3, Will can overpopulate it for cheap. I don't like that. Moving in the blue uh, threatens the... Uh... Mm. Yeah, w Roundabout can take out Will's blue home star if they decide to commit to this. And... Does Will have to react? Well, I think what Will's most Will's most likely response will be to sacrifice the R2 to capture the invader and this G3 um, so that their colony invasion and their colony invasion makes progress and roundabout can't just build their way into a star demolition. They'd have to at least sacrifice the Y2 to do it. Roundabout, ooh, looking at doing the yellow first. I don't think that's going to work out. Well, you know, Roundabout would just be giving Will a Y2, but it gives Roundabout space to build the Y3. Um, overall, I don't like that so well, though, because Will still can make progress in invading the colony and take this Y2. I, I would, if I were Roundabout, I'd be trying harder to keep these greens out of Will's hands. Deliberately uh, overpopulating your greens... Uh, but you're going to lose the yellows, too. I don't like that roundabout. All right, come on. Let's, uh, let's see what you decide on. I like that pretty well. Sacrificing the Y2 to bring two yellows into Will's home. But no, Will goes for the counter-invasion in Deneb. Huh. Will just builds a Y3. Yeah, I think that's probably the best. Roundabout now. Building an R2. Will can overpopulate it, and it would destroy all of Roundabout's red, but Will would be losing a Y3 to do it, but Will might not care that much. They're, they're ahead by two larges. Okay, Roundabout sacrificing to capture the little yellow. Um, possibly giving Roundabout a a place to build the, the Y3. Okay, Will sacrificing Y1 to move the big yellow. I think just trying to keep the large yellows out of Roundabout's hands. Um, it's not insane, though I don't love it all that much. 
see if Roundabout starts trying to push the greens into Will's home. Builds that little yellow. That's probably the best. That just about gives Roundabout a, uh, a doomsday machine. They can start moving the blues in. And then they'll, they've got... They've got enough yellow ships and enough blue ships to knock out both stars. It's just that uh, since none of those ships are large, uh, Roundabout needs some more... Well, actually, no. Okay. So... Roundabout should be able to demolish the blue star by moving the blues in one at a time. No yellow sacrifice required because... If Will ever stops, so if the first one comes in, first blue comes in, Will captures. Second blue comes in, if Will does anything other than capture the new invader, Roundabout can factory build two more blues to overpopulate the blue star. So Roundabout can just move these blues in one at a time. And then the yellows... One can be moved in at once, and then the Y2 sacrifice can move in the other two yellows to demolish the star. Roundabout's got it. Roundabout's got a, a doomsday machine now. Um, Will has got to start doing something about it right this minute. Sacrifice to capture the green. That's not actually part of the doomsday machine. Um, so I've, I've got my doubts about whether that's going to be enough to save them. Question is, does Roundabout see this, this relatively advanced doomsday, doomsday machine as complete, or do they think they need some more time? Sacrificing the Y2, sacrificing the G3. Um, okay, as far as moves that are not making immediate progress toward winning using the doomsday machine. Uh, that seems pretty good. Knock out the G2 that Will just captured. Roundabout still got the majority of the green. Oh, and by the way, if, if anybody sees that I'm actually wrong and there's a, there's a flaw in my, my doomsday machine plan to move the blues in one at a time, uh, sacrificing to build if Will captures and tries then tries to reduce the blue population, blue concentration, and then uh, moving in the yellows in two turns. If anybody sees a flaw in that plan, please let me know, because it looks complete to me. But maybe there's a re reason Roundabout isn't uh, employing it just yet. Let's see, Roundabout sacrificing to move in two greens. Okay, yeah, I think... Will could, yeah, there's, I, I don't know if there's any point in Will capturing both of those, actually, because Roundabout could just uh, move in the green for the, to overpopulate Will's mothership. Will trading to another color? Ooh. Uh, but trading to a color that matches the star. That's not so good. Round, um... Roundabout can just move in a, a blue and be prepared to get a, an easy catastrophe. Building more green? That's actually not going to do all that much. It, In fact, it gives uh, Will the chance to build the G3 over in the colony. Roundabout could do a, a, a factory to build the green, the say the G2 in Will's home and the G3 in Deneb. Yeah, I don't like that as well. Will captures the G3, Roundabout overpopulates. Roundabout's just throwing away their own ships that way, I think. Roundabout... Oh, sacrificing to swap for a blue? Um, I, I, I think just moving a blue in is better, but it, it's largely the same thing. I think I think Roundabout is wishing that they could Sacrifice the B2 to swap both of these for blue, but there's not enough uh, small blues in the game for that. All right, roundabout, what you gonna do? This, I think, is the right call. Well, other than starting to move in the blues. Um, 
starting to move in the blues, I think, is the best move. But uh, factory build to catch up in material a little is pretty good, too. Um... Will takes that green that was threatening the R2. Got about sacrifices to build, so that, that was an unnecessary sacrifice. Oh, no, 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 G2 was sacrificed in Deneb. They moved it into Will's home that way. Knocks out Will's green. Okay, sure. Um, those were Those were mostly roundabout ships that got blown up, but that's... I've seen weirder things that I thought were correct. Yeah, this is all right. I, I think I think Roundabout's got this if they just get their uh, get their act in gear. All right, Roundabout, sacrificing the G three. No, it's not a factory anymore. What do you decide on? Trading blue for red in Beetlejuice. Um, yeah, that'll start putting some pressure on Will's Reds at home. That's interesting. Uh, though it, it gets rid of one of the blues, so Roundabout no longer has a full Doomsday Machine. Will just builds a G1. Roundabout, if they build an R2... Yeah, that's, that's Red Alert, that's check. Will has got to trade or move one of those Reds, or I guess they could reinforce instead. Trades for a green. Okay, roundabout sacrifices Y2. No? Roundabouts. Just gonna build that R2. Okay. Will trades for, for more red. Yeah, it's important to have some spare firepower around, although if Roundabout just builds a blue, I, I think they still have a full Doomsday Machine. This is a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of ships in that colony. Sacrificing the Y2 to bring in two reds. Uh, that'll work. Um, Will can sacrifice their R2 to capture them both, but then Roundabout can just move in the last red to overpopulate the mothership. That's... that's progress. Uh... Just moving in one of them. Okay, yeah, that, that postpones the sacrifice for another turn. That's not so bad. Yeah, now Roundabout can sacrifice the Y2, bring in two reds, overpopulate the mothership. Will's just got the one ship left at home. Roundabout's feeling indecisive even about this. I, I think it's a great move, though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Will now needs to reinforce their home, I think. Does it with the yellow. Uh, a little spooky, because Roundabout's got yellow just outside their home. Roundabout sacrificing G3 to clean up the rest of the yellows and build a blue. Okay, I think I think with that, even Roundabout um, in their, their cautious way is, is probably going to see that this is uh, Doomsday Machine material. Yeah, Will Will is seeing the problem with having too much yellow at home. Roundabout thinking about pushing forward a green. I think the way I said that a minute ago about even roundabout will see this. I <clears throat> I, I I make a lot of judgment calls about what's good and what's bad and and trying to guess what people are going to see or not see and sometimes i think it doesn't come out as politely as i intend it um i think it is easier here to see that roundabout is on the the verge of victory by blowing up both stars and i think roundabout should see it uh <laughs> roundabout's not a bad player by any means um so i, I didn't mean to uh Throw shade, as we say. Okay, roundabout. Uh, sacrifice G1 to build a Y3. Uh, yeah, sure, that's great. I think I think roundabout doesn't need to get as much material as they are, but um, 
you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, Will builds a green. Yeah, I think Roundabout's ready to start causing real trouble here. Sacrifice the Y3 to knock out the Yellow Star. And Will, I'm betting, is going to do a resignation sacrifice. Sacrificing the Y3 to move one, two, three greens into Roundabout's home. Yeah, not bad. That makes, uh, makes it look like it was a very close game. And it, it was in, in some ways, though. Roundabout clearly had the power to finish this off. And knocks out the other star. Nice! Okay, well. Uh, another exciting game. I definitely thought Will had the advantage for quite a bit of it. But, um, mostly because of that additional large ship. But having that big ship isn't everything. Um... Roundabout had more small ships they used to get more diversity, and I think I think it was a pretty big mistake for Will to do that uh, that yellow catastrophe that put the, so much yellow back in the bank. I think that was a big part of how yeah, Roundabout got back into this. Anyway, uh, that concludes this uh, artificial best of three with uh, Roundabout taking two out of three. Congratulations and uh, great games from from Will too. Thank you for uh, thank you for participating and. <laughs> in my little fake tournament and uh thanks to you guys for watching that's all for now